what do we mean by airborne and why does it matter now take a look at this picture uh and we've got the blue dots which represent droplet spread and the orange dots which represent airborne spread now droplets you all know what droplets are they're what comes out when you cough or sneeze and because droplets are heavy they fall to the ground within about one or two meters so if a virus or, or indeed any other pathogen only travels in droplets then you would prevent the spread of that disease by implementing physical distancing and getting people to cough and sneeze into a tissue but if the pathogen if the virus or, or bacteria or whatever is suspended in the air you'd be able to catch it both at close quarters for example if you were in the direct jet of someone breathing out uh, and also anywhere else in the room because the air dissipates everywhere especially the longer you are in that enclosed space so keeping your distance from other people would still help to reduce transmission but it wouldn't completely prevent it now why do some people say the virus isn't airborne well one of the arguments is uh that quite a few scientists who initially looked for the SARS-CoV-2 virus in the air didn't find any but that's like the person who goes fishing and concludes that there's no fish in the river because they didn't catch any but scientists who are experts in isolating viruses from the air this is a very difficult and sophisticated technique but but scientists who, who'd done that for a number of years did find SARS-CoV-2 in the air and what's more they found it consistently and repeatedly uh, in indoor settings where people with COVID uh, for example in, in hospitals uh, where people with COVID uh, were in the room they also found it in the cars of people who'd, who'd had COVID because of course a car is a very small space and so the virus would be very concentrated there um, but there's also lots of other streams of evidence which have shown that uh, you know taken together uh, uh, show that this virus is airborne um, I think one of the strongest streams of evidence is the hundreds of examples of super spreading events where dozens of people gathering at an indoor event all became infected now in some of those cases researchers went and asked every single person attending the event which rooms they went into and even whether and when they used the toilet and then they used computers to model all the possible transmission routes the patterns don't support any explanation except that most people who caught COVID at those events caught it from the air. There's also some really interesting evidence from animal studies. Healthy animals in one cage all developed COVID when their cage was connected via an air duct to a cage of infected animals. And again, these uh, experiments have been replicated uh, by other groups. And then there's evidence that high quality respirator grade masks, the N95s, the FFP2s, uh, which filter out viruses from the air very efficiently are protective. They don't eliminate the risk of catching COVID, but they significantly reduce the likelihood. Now there's lots more evidence, which you'll find in this Lancet paper, and other links that we're going to put on the independent sage website but the bottom line is there's very extensive evidence that this virus is in the air and that the main route of transmission is by breathing in air which contains the virus